Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons of Desolation. Alf is plunging back into the dungeon as we speak. And what are we going to discover? My guess would be some beasties and some trousers. That seems to be part of the course. Alright, well, we've got a glove straight away. Not quite the trousers I was looking for. These are not the trousers you're looking for. Mystery wooden shield. Mmm, I'll pick it up. It's similar to the one we've got, but it's a mystery which suggests it might have some kind of magical effect. Or a curse. Do we have enough identify scrolls to waste on it? Ah, why the hell not? Let's live dangerously. Wooden shield of battle! So what does that net me? Some extra stat stuff. Excellent. I wonder if we can actually look at the stats in the inventory. Um, ah, increases hit and damage. Well, either that or increases hit and its ability to contain water in large quantities. Yes, it's a pun on dam. Anyway, you're not here for the puns. Well, if you're not here for the puns, I don't know why you are here, really. You should probably watch someone else more punless. Less punful? I don't know. Okay. Oh, small metal shield. What's with all the shields? And is that actually better? No, I don't think it is. I think our magic wooden shield is actually superior. Yeah, magic wood is better than metal. Just ask any woman. Anyway, moving on from that deeply unsavoury image, let's kill some gnomes. Wag skin jerkin. I think we've already got better than that. Yeah, a lot better than that. But we are wearing mail at the moment. Okay. Another sword. I think we've you know we've already got a better sword than that. Bought a sabre last time. So we should be doing alright on the weapon front. Um doing pretty well for health and defense and just all around physical stuff. We're a good burly fighter type, the classic adventurer. There's another level. And let's see. What was I aiming for? I know I had vague intentions of getting up towards one of these more powerful black magic spells. But what about this? Lesser shielding. Increase defense by 7 until deactivated. How long does it last? Does it say? No. So does it just keep recasting itself? That's the way it sounds to me. Not sure warding is a lot of use, at least at this point. I haven't seen much in the way of elemental attacks, as far as I've noticed. Strengthen could be handy. Dexterity could also be handy. Hmm. What about this lot? What have we got down here? Charge. Charge through your foes dealing damage along the way. Yes, I'll take that. No, I can't take that. Why not? Oh, because I need to get Weapon Mastery 1 first. Or I could go this way into Natural Toughness 2 and then get some more Armor Mastery. Maybe Thrust. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that could work. I don't know. I, I think I want to go for Charge, so let's go down the Weapon Mastery route. Okay. Okay. And actually, we should be able to afford Natural Toughness 2 as well. Fantastic. Yeah, I think at this point, it's probably better, at least for me, to play a burly fighter type until I become a bit more proficient with the game. I mean, there's still a lot I'm learning about it. To be quite fair to myself, um, a lot of it isn't clear. For instance, it required the developer to point out to me that critical hits are actually a quick time event. There's no indication that you're meant to press the button when that's happening. And that's true of quite a lot of things in this game. There are a lot of things that just aren't indicated at all. So, ah, oh shit. So I feel like I still have quite a lot to learn. So for the time being, I think I'm going to stick to this primarily fighter class. Blue trousers, silken pants. Could it sound any less, any less adventure appropriate? That is not appropriate attire for questing through a dungeon. Unless it's some kind of kinky dungeon. In which case you can do better than silk, I'm sure. Alright, so we've got potion, mystery woolen gloves. I'm not sure I care enough about the woolen gloves to bother identifying them. They'd have to be pretty special to be better than our current gloves. 
Lantern. Never had a lantern before. Um, let's see. So that actually sheds more light and lasts longer, but I think you need to refill it with oil, which I know you can buy from the shop. I think for the time being I'm going to continue using torches just because we have an ample supply. But I might um, not buy any more torches. I might even sell off some torches and replace them with oil. Just because the lantern is clearly the, the high performance light fan's choice. <clears throat> Don't you dare surround me. I'm going to run over here. Okay, let's use slam on him. Yeah, slammed him good. Well, actually, slammed him pretty bad. Seemed to do less damage than a normal attack. Is slam the one that's related to... Um... Yeah, that was a hell of a critical strike. Is slam the one that's related to the um, value of our shield? Defense value of our shield. I don't think it is. I think that was shield bash. I could be mistaken. Let's slam him. And again. Ugh. And let's magic missile him. We're just chipping away at him a little bit. But I should stick to normal attacks. In fact, I should stop buying skills altogether because they're generally less effective than just normal attacks. What the hell is that square? A door with a checkerboard behind it. I've never seen one of those before. That is deeply serene. Sleep trap. Oh, is it some kind of trap that was already triggered when I got here? How curious. Okay. Uh, I imagine we've probably still got quite a long way to go around this floor. I don't remember whether we've even seen a staircase down, but if we have, um, I think there's still plenty of room to explore on this floor. Woolen pants, not what I was looking for. I mean, who goes into a dungeon in search of woolen pants? No one with any sense, I'll tell you that much. Urgh. Urgh. Although, if you're someone who plays or has played Azure Dreams on either the PlayStation 1 or the Game Boy Color, then you may well have gone into a dungeon in search of fruit. I know I did. Okay. And another level. We're racking them up. Okay. So, I can go for charge next. I wonder if it'll be actually better than Slam. Since Slam is proving to be a bit rubbish these days, I think I'll actually replace it on the hotkey with charge. I can always reassign it or assign it to a different hotkey later, but for the time being... Let's, well, let's try. There. No? Okay, apparently I can't charge there. Ah, okay. Ah, well that's probably good against a group of enemies, but not so great against just one. Alright, need to do some healing quickly. Oh, where did the um, where did the big healing spell go? I'm sure I had that assigned to one of the hotkeys. Seems to have deassigned itself. I'm curious, curiouser and curiouser," said Alice, like a complete tit. I'm sure I've made that remark in a much much earlier video. And no one understood what I was talking about. I was, of course, referring to Alice in Wonderland. Here we go. Charge. 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 Hello. Okay, what am I not understanding about the rule of charging here? I'm going to have to look that up. Charge. Details. Charge your way through foes dealing damage along the way. Well, yeah, but it just won't activate most of the time. And there's no rule specified that would prevent it, as far as I can see. So why why does it keep not working? Hmm. If anyone can shed any light on that, I would appreciate it. Okay. Oh, bugger me. Flame trap. Well, at least I'm still alive. That's never to be sniffed at in a roguelike. Okay. Ooh, a little door. Yeah. Blue scroll. That's one we haven't identified yet. Let's try disarming this. Success! Torch is about to go out. But that's fine, I'll just light another one. Wow! Chest Mimic? 
That's the first time for this. Let's try charging it. Charge. Charge. Okay. So it worked that time. Iron mail boots, wooden shield, torch. Are any of those anything special? Didn't look like it. No, they're the same. That's a normal shield, and the torch is just the torch, of course. Magic missile scroll. Well, I already have my own supply of magic missiles, and they're a bit bum, frankly. Clearly I'm not playing a very magical class. At some point, I will probably attempt a magical class. Oh, need a new torch. Ah, not the lantern! Torch. That's better. I don't want to use the lantern until I have a supply of oil on me. Don't want it going out. And uh, being unable to light it again. Right, I think we should go downstairs pretty soon. I think we've explored most of the floor. <laughs> I say as I uncover miles and miles more tunnel. Oh god. Alright, healing potion, well that's good. I always forget to even look at my potions to see if any of them will heal. I associate potions with being, you know, blindness and all that kind of stuff. I think it's because um, the bulk of my roguelaking experience has been cursed loot, where healing potions are permanently assigned to one of the triggers. So um, you don't actually have to go and look at your potions, because any potions you have will be weird effects rather than just healing. I think that's probably what resulted in this tendency to overlook them. Hmm. You know, at some point after I, well, probably not finished this, I don't think I've ever finished a full-on roguelike, but when I come to take a break from this, as I inevitably will at some point, would you have any interest in seeing any of the other um, traditional type of roguelikes that I own? Stuff like Dungeon Adventure or Silent Call, anything like that. Just trying to gauge how much people want to see me playing roguelikes. <laughs> People seem to like them, and I like playing them. And they're all quite different, remarkably. Alright, where was that staircase down? Was over there, I think? Yeah, okay. Alright. There's an enemy right there. Let's charge him, just for the hell of it. Okay. Again, it still does less damage than a normal attack, but... Um, if I can work out how to make it carry me through um, a group of enemies, it could be very useful. So far I haven't been able to make that work, of course, as you've seen. Alright, let's have a look at that sword we just picked up. Scimitar. Slightly better than the sabre. Not by much, just fractionally. But fractionally is better than nothing. So, there we go. So now we're being slightly... I don't know, I was going to say piratical, but that's a cutlass rather than a scimitar, isn't it? So I suppose we're being sort of... I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Who wields scimitars traditionally? Sort of vaguely stereotypical Mid Middle Eastern characters in old fiction, I suppose. History of scimitars isn't really where my expertise lies, I'm afraid. Not much call for them in Sicily, as far as I'm aware. Alright, torch. Stairs down, worth remembering. But of course, I will almost certainly forget where those stairs are during the course of exploring this absolutely gargantuan floor. Because they are all gargantuan. Okay. Pocket some cash. Chase down this spider. It's payback for all the spiders that sneak into my bathroom. That one that came up through the plug hole really freaked me out. It's the size of a small deer. Okay, so what have we got on this level up? We can get... some armor mastery and some more armor mastery. Or armor mastery and weapon mastery. Or armor mastery and plate armor. No, we can't afford plate armor as well. So basically it's a choice of a couple of masteries. Or this, which is a passive skill. Could be handy, but 5% never seems like very much of an increase. So, I don't know. I don't think we're using black magic enough 
for it to be worth expending more points on it. I mean, maybe if we actually got to one of these spells, it might be worth using it. So I suppose it's a self-defeating argument in that respect, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, what about grey magic? What else have we got down here? Light orb. Permanently lights the tiles around you. And then blink teleports you to a random nearby location. Not bothered about either of those. Detect traps. Eh. Don't feel like I'd use that that much. I'd probably forget. That doesn't seem too helpful. Detect stairs and doors. Could be useful. But mainly if I'm in a hurry to make an escape. Detect items, I suppose, could be handy. But I never feel like I'm just wandering past them that much. I see them all over the place. Identify could be good. Because then I don't have to rely on identify scrolls. So, let's work towards that. So we have to start with, at the very beginning, detect monsters. Oh god, actually we've got a long way to go. How many skill points do I need to get down to identify? That's one, two, three, four, and they're all one point skills. Five, and then six. Six in total. That's not bad. I mean, it's, it's three whole levels up. Level ups. What can I get from three whole level ups in here? I could upgrade armor mastery. That's one, two, three for plate armor, four for weapon mastery. I could get through a hell of a lot of things on here. Ah, oh, what the hell. What the hell. Let's try it. One. Um, you know, honestly, I'm not sure I'm ever going to use that. I will hotkey it, but I'll hotkey it to the second row. To uh, LT. And then get this one as well, Light Orb. Again, I'll hotkey that to RT on the second row. Good. Okay. Let's see if we can pick up this trap. Yes. But I'm starving, so let's scoff some food. Excellent. We're back in business. So grab this armor, grab this armor, grab some trousers. I told you there'd be trousers. Trousers are plenty. And the trousers are... Fairly normal stuff. Yeah, nothing remarkable. Certainly not as good as my magical trousers. Alf and his magical trousers. Sounds like a rolled doll book. Okay. What were those gloves? They were mystery gloves. Almost certainly better than... Oh! I actually thought we had at least rawhide gloves, but we're still sitting on woolen gloves. Okay, let's, uh, I'm using up a lot of identify scrolls, but let's, um, oh, did I accidentally assign that? I did, I accidentally bloody assigned it, I'm always doing that. Um, what did I have on B before? I think it was magic missile, wasn't it? So, I'll reassign that, because I, I automatically, out of habit, press B to back out of the assign thing. But that actually just assigns it to B. I'm not sure what you should press instead there. Okay, so let's assign that to B. Back out. And now let's use the identify scroll to identify the gloves. Iron Metal Gloves of Vulnerability! Ah, they're rubbish gloves! No! <sighs> I mean, well, having said that, armor minus four, they're still a lot better. But I would imagine, I mean, I'd, I'd imagine the usual thing in a roguelike is if you put on a cursed item, you can't take it off again until it's decursed or similar. So let's not do that, even though it's actually better than our current rubbish woolen gloves. Iron hat. Oh, I think I already had an iron hat as well. Yeah. Let's don that. Ridiculous metal hood. Okay. Oh, lantern oil. Lovely. That will definitely come in handy if we're going to actually take up using the lantern instead of the torches. 
Okay. Piss off, no. Get back. You can't even make a dent in me. I'm quite surprised, actually, by how far we've come in the sense of how much tougher we are than we were even a video ago. We're really just ripping through all these enemies. I don't know whether it's because I'm so painstakingly exploring every floor, um, so I've ended up being over-leveled or something, but I'm I'm very um, refreshed. But did he? He stole something. He stole my rubbish cursed gloves. The bastard. I see some silk and um, saber, boots, and a lantern. We kill him. Okay, we're actually taking some damage. The imp got teleported away by stepping on a teleport trap like a complete fool. Okay, finish him off. Use our strong healing spell. And again, to get us back up to full. Then just take out this corridor full of enemies. Like so. Wow, it really is crawling with orcs down here. Okay, torch has gone out. So, let's, again, relight it. We have a million of them. Oh, fucking thing! Always stealing from me, the little bastard! Right, I'm going to skill him. Here we go. Now, presumably I've got my stuff back. Disembodied hand reminds me very much of the original Legend of Zelda. With that thing, whatever it was called. What was that called in the first Zelda? The giant hand that drops down to spirit you away. Okay, there's the downward staircase. And I'm very, very tempted to take it. Just because I don't feel like we'll discover a huge amount to our benefit around the rest of this floor. Um, <laughs> dead end. Two dead ends. Fantastic. You know which roguelike I'm thinking of Let's Playing when I get a chance? Doom. I bought Doom the roguelike. Um, well, I say bought. I think it's free, actually. I could be mistaken. But I acquired Doom the roguelike quite recently, and it's actually surprisingly good. Alright, let's eat some food since we're getting hungry, and go down. Alright. So, steel mail gloves. I don't know if we can wear those. We can try. Yes. Much better than our gloves made out of wool, as you might imagine. Okay. Still facing off against lots of easy enemies down here. Don't feel too stressed about letting them attack me from all sides like that. Especially if I keep getting these kick-ass critical hits. Okay. Roam onward. Bunch of enemies down there, so let's tackle them. Okay. Yes! What a critical. Trolls are pretty tough, but I don't feel too daunted. Longsword, identify scroll, that's all fine. Some um, bit of money, if nothing else. 200%, holy shit. Okay. Um, what's in here? Some more armour. Probably going to have to go and flog some of this stuff at some point. I don't know if there's um, actually an encumbrance stat in this. I haven't noticed one. No, it doesn't look like it. So, um, I suppose in that respect I don't need to sell, sell anything. I might have a limited number of slots or something, I'm not sure. But, um, we'll see, I suppose. I don't have to go back to the surface all the time. <laughs> it's just traditionally, at the end of previous videos, I've been close to getting killed, so it's made sense to flee to the surface. But right now, I feel like nothing can touch me. Alright. So far, so fine. Steel mail boots. So I think that's an improved boot. The real Doc Martins. Except for the fact that they're not made by Dr. Martin, of course. 
So not the real Doc Martens at all, but probably what he had in mind. Good old Doctor kicking people in the face, Martin. Right. And another level. Wow. Okay, so... I need to stop saying another level, because every time I do, I think of that rubbish boy band from years ago. Uh, okay, we're going down the grey magic route, weren't we? So, let's have Blink. And I'll definitely put that on the secondary strand, because I don't want to accidentally hit the Blink and teleport myself somewhere. So let's put that on B. Um... No, no, let's just keep going straight on towards identifying. You can come back for other things if you want to. Detect stairs and doors. Don't really want it, but fine. And assign that to X, I suppose. Whatever. Okay. Alright. Trundling around familiar corridors at this point. There's probably, yeah, somewhere I haven't explored yet. Fine. Identify, that was definitely a good find. I've seen some stairs down, where were they? I suppose I could use detect stairs to find them, but um, I don't really fancy it. Because I imagine when you use detect stairs, stairs will show up on the mini-map, and I actually can't see much on the mini-map at the moment because I don't have my glasses on. I only need glasses for distance, and I'm just far enough away from my TV to need them to read that little thing in the corner. Okay, some money. Some armour. Right. I don't know how I'm managing to carry all this stuff. I must have the biggest pockets in the universe. Okay, there's a downward stair, so I'll pop in here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. And then, downstairs. Okay. Actually, this is probably an opportune moment to call an end to the episode, so I'll see you the next time for a bit more Dungeons of Desolation, and see if we ever manage to fill up my pockets. See you then.